We are much inebriated. Jesus, Lord have mercy. Oh my God. What's happening? Hello and welcome to another episode. My name is Mike and today I'm here with my friend Joe, a culinary school dropout. <laughs> Today we are going to be making some gumbo. What are some things you like in your gumbo, Joe? I like shrimp and chicken and sausage and crawfish. Joe, you ignorant slut. What I'm going to be adding in my gumbo instead is some beef, some chicken, and of course, everybody's favorite, imitation crab. <laughs> you need for me? We're just gonna cut together. Other, what is this shit? It's a knife. From culinary school? No, that's my knife. And what is this? Another one of those? No, that's your hinkle? Okay. What? Fuck off. Alright, so first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna chop our vegetables. We've had a little bit to drink, right, Lachaim? I will be tuna. Sipping tequila, buddy. Okay. I sipped it. We're going to do a medium dice on that okay. celery medium dice medium dice which is lamest terms for smaller than a chop bigger than a mince we don't want the leaves though yeah we're good what <laughs> i'll pull them out <laughs> okay i went all the way to joe's wedding in the Congo. Where were we? It was a beautiful, beautiful island wedding in the Dominican Republic. I almost got molested a couple of times. He almost, but he couldn't afford it. <laughs> okay, well, anyway, like I was saying, it was a good time. Uh, yeah, it was. We, uh, you know what they lacked in uh, culinary uh, divinity? They made up for it with they made up climbing for it. trees and selling drugs. I'm gonna show you Cheers way how to cut an onion, okay? So I've taken the skin off, I've cut her in half. Now I'm just going to slice her here, right? Just like that, right? And now, tilt that guy. Look at you go. And it all just falls off in a pile of chopped onions. Look at that. Dunskies. So, so far we have carrots, Celery and onion, which in culinary terms, what do we call that? Mirepoix. So the holy trinity known as mirepoix, being French, being celery, carrot, onion, is only paralleled by one, and that is the Cajun holy trinity, and that is where bell pepper is added to mirepoix. Okay, so we're making Cajun mirepoix right now. Yeah, we're making gumbo. God damn, I hope we're making Cajun mirepoix. I gotta have you coherent enough to finish cooking with me. I, I'm a professional. I'm yeah. really concerned that you're gonna chop your fingers off. Here. Okay. There okay. you go. I don't want you to... No, my, that's my knife. It's your cutting board. Yeah, I know, but... It's harmless. It's my special knife. Just peel some herbals for me. What do you want me to do here? Just peel them. I have time. The tips get flimsy. Yeah, they do. And they'll break off. Oh, yeah, they will. So you gotta grab down a couple of... The tips. base? Grab no. the base? No, not the base. You gotta peel backwards so you gotta grab from the tip. You gotta grab one, two, or three. I'm looking at three. See here? I'm looking at three sprouts down and it gives a stem and a... All right, now that the vegetables are done, here are our meats. So we have some chicken... Uh, Drums, right? They're called legs. Okay, L legs. Um, they're also called drums. Sure. If you're from fucking Texas, you can say legs. But in California, we call them drums, yo. Yeah, let's shit on half our viewers. So, what? <laughs> we have some chuck roast, we have some chorizo, we have some imitation crab meat, and then we have some um, spicy chicken sausage here. Yep. And then we have some chicken fucking legs. This is actually soy riso because we have no pork here. And this is imitation crab. So we're gonna season the meat and the chicken and we're gonna sear those guys. So we get a nice so sear. 
So hot fire, hard sear, not cooking, just searing. Yep. We're just trying to preserve the flavor. We're trying to seal, just to sear. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drop it in the Instant Pot with all this shit and all the fucking vegetables. Are you fucking happy? So we want to melt down our butter and then we're going to take our chorizo. Oh, we're going to make like ground. We're not going to slice it like sausage. We're going to put it in like ground. Not right? our chorizo because our chorizo is in a casing like this. So it's just going to be, it's just going to come out like ground meat in the mixture. Yep. We're going to add the vegetables, the carrots, the celery, the bell peppers, the onion. Okay, if you put too much in, just uh, don't fuck around. Take it and off. we're just looking at volumetric measures here. The pot was goddamn full. I'm gonna leave this meat whole also because, again, I am pressure cooking. I'm putting it in the pressure cooker, so it's gonna just fall apart, and I have no problem kind of cutting it up. So let's go ahead and add that. Put you a chicken leg or two in there. We're gonna put crab meat. all of this crab meat, and I'm just gonna kind of lightly separate it, not get too crazy or anything. So I'm not gonna completely slice all the way through this chicken sausage that I'm using here. I'm just gonna kind of score it because I don't want the insides to come oozing out all over the place. And I'll shove these chicken down. Okay, I'm gonna be honest. I'm gonna be honest with you, I fucked up. I forgot to make put the tomato paste in first with the butter. So when you're making this, you wanna put this tomato paste in with the butter and get it kind of lubricated all over the place. However, because we're using a pressure cooker, Everything will melt down and distribute everywhere. If you're cooking this on the pot, guess what, motherfucker? You, you just fucked up because of me. So I'm just gonna add it on top because I am using a pressure cooker. It'll melt down. It'll melt down. Oregano. I'm gonna use a little garlic powder, onion powder. Old Bay. Red pepper, chili flake. And gumbo's a little spicy. So I added a, a you know, not too much because I obvious, obviously I don't handle spice well the texture of the tofu. But I added a, a decent amount, and this is a uh, chicken stock. And now obviously you need fluid in a pressure cooker, especially an Instant Pot, otherwise you won't get any um, cooking. No pressure. no pressure. So this may or may not look like a murder scene. I set the, my Instant Pot on the meat stew setting for one hour and five minutes. That's good, that's perfect. We have very little garnishes. So we're gonna make some rice, right? You put rice on top, 20 no, minutes. No, you don't put rice on top, Jesus Christ. You put rice on bottom. You pour gumbo over rice. Okay, so we're gonna put rice on top and then we're gonna put some scallions and we're gonna do, uh, we're gonna do a little quick pickle on some radishes just to... Which could be a fun spin. It is, and I It'd love be it. be nice. Okay, and uh, I guess we'll see you in one hour and five minutes. Okay, so we are back and much more inebriated before we started. We're much inebriated. So we're gonna release our pressure here. Um, I like to cover this bad boy up and... Jesus, Lord have mercy, oh my God. What's happening? <sighs> we open this thing and it is picture perfect. You just have to trust. You gotta just trust. Look at that chicken. Look at that. I mean, it doesn't get much better than that. It's frail. It's cooked. So what I'm gonna do to the peak. is I'm going to drop a piece of chicken in there. Let me grab a couple of lumps of this crab, imitation crab. Try to dig down for a little boof. You gotta stir it up. So Ooh, a sausage. On there. I'm gonna get sausage. a full sausage in there. Oof. 
Wait. Nice quarter of beef. There's your beef, yeah. There's your red meat. Okay. It's, and now, and now what I'm gonna do? It's bananas. What it smells like. I'm gonna get lots of these vegetables. And you see I got a lot, you see how this broth is all red? That's because remember the tomato, it just melted right on in there. What are you doing over there? Your mom. That's rude. <laughs> I'm just gonna pack my little rice down and just kind of... Beautiful. You got vegetables, multiple protein, and a little, just a hint of a pickled radish. It's really hot, like your mom. Yeah, no, it's hot. My mom does her thing. So how do you think I did a little California boy on my gumbo? We did all right. I mean, you know, there was no crawfish here, but you're not missing the crawfish. You did your own thing to it, and you called it a gumbo, and I ate it as a gumbo, and I don't think it's anything other than a gumbo. There you have it. Straight from the jackass, it's a horse's mouth. Sorry, I get confused sometimes. So I hope that your nipples got at least a little bit rock hard. Maybe you got a little bit of blood flow while For watching this video. For fuck's sake. Hopefully in the future we can meet each other and we can rub our butts together. 